right, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. Today, we are giving a review of my Yakima front loader roof racks that I've been running on my car for the past eight years. But before we get into today's video, if you're new to my channel, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button for me. If you already are subscribed, make sure you hit that bell icon right next to that. That way you get notified every time I upload. That way you don't miss awesome cycling content we got on this channel. So right on to the video, we are talking about my Yakima front loader racks that I've had for about eight years now and I've had them in my car and it has been the main way of transporting bikes for the longest time. So obviously Yakima makes all sorts of different style racks. This is just one of them. They may have updated this since then, but this is the style of rack that I've been using for a long time. So what's so great about the Yakima front loader? So the Yakima front loader offers a lot of benefits to it. Number one is going to be the way it mounts to your car. So a lot of roof racks you run into will only work with a circle style bar or they may work with a square style bar and that's it. You're kind of stuck. However, most factory, most factory roof racks are not a standard circle bar and not a standard square bar. They're going to be a kind of an arrow shaped bar to make the most aerodynamics. Makes kind of sense, right? They want your fuel economy better, so they stick that on there. So most racks aren't going to be able to work with your factory roof rack. The Yakima front loader, on the other hand, is set up to work with whatever style roof crack bars you have on your car. Whether that's the factory arrow style, round style bars, square style bars, it will work with them. As you can tell from the front up here, it has kind of like a clamp to it. So as you loosen that up, and as you tighten that, it clamps around the style bar you have. So it works really good. In my case, I've used it with factory style bars on our old van we had, and then we used them on the circle styles that we've had on my wife's, on my wife's Focus she has. So I have that, and then the back has kind of a same style clamp here, where it fits to the style of rack you have. Second benefit to this style of rack. So I've used racks that have a bar that comes up and clamps to the frame. I've used racks that have the fork mount where you have to take a wheel off and mount to the fork. This bike rack had a different style and this was something that was not common eight years ago. This was something that wasn't as common eight years ago. And that's that your wheel rolls into this slot right here. You probably have to load your bike up on the car and you roll it forward. As you roll it forward, it pushes on this little lever here and it will move this bar right here and this bar will grab onto the rear of your tire normally it's about like yay so right there it'll grab onto the rear of your tire and as you tighten this knob right here it will tighten up on the tire and it will hold your bike by the tire so it kind of keeps all everything away from your frame so it works really well for like carbon style frames frames you care about but you don't want to get scratched up by some mounts on the frame and it mounts to the tire now, of course, this comes with some downfalls to it. So this particular rack was made before some things became commonplace, namely 27.5 mountain bike tires and plus size tires doesn't exist. Those did not exist when this rack came out. That being the case, this has tire sizes for everything from, 20, from a 20 inch to a 24, to a 26 inch mountain bike, to a 26 inch road bike, to a 650 road bike, to a 700 road bike, 700 gravel tire, and a 29er. That's it though. It doesn't have anything for 27.5, which is, makes it kind of difficult to fit a 27.5 in. You can get away with it, but it makes it kind of tough to fit that in there and make it so it fits securely. And it doesn't have anything for plus size tires. It only goes up to about a 2.3 inch wide tire. So if you're running anything wider, which I just realized all my bikes are wider than that, it's not going to fit very well. It's not going to fit optimally in this style rack. Now I've redone some in the near future. I've seen that have different sizes on them. In my case, this one has those specific sizes and it has notches right here. If you guys are able to see that, it has notches and the label above them. So pretty much you can grab, you grab these two levers here, flip those down, and this top piece can move. And this top piece is actually what grabs onto the tire. And so you want that to be on the top. You want this to be able to lock onto the top of the tire because that's gonna keep the bike from jumping out of the rack, obviously. Other nice features of this rack. So of course, you're going mountain biking, you're going riding somewhere, you get back, throw your bike on the car, you wanna stop and get something to eat on the way back. You're pretty hungry, right? But what do you do? You have to carry a separate lock for your bike to lock it to the rack on top of your car? Nah, that's boring. This rack has a built-in cable lock right here. So it's not the fanciest or the strongest thing in the world. It's a pretty simple cable lock, but for someone to go to the effort to climb up on the roof of your car, cut this lock, take your bike down from the roof of your car, this is a pretty good theft deterrent. Most people are gonna go for something, to, most thieves are gonna go for something a lot easier to get to than your roof rack mounted bike with just a cable lock around it. So it does offer this as well, and I've used this many times. And it's a nice little extra security piece to kind of lock through the frame while you're out, while you're driving around, locks through the frame real quick, 
and you just have an extra secure piece to hold it to your rack and make you make you feel like you're a little make you feel like it's a little bit better. Along with that, because it is a keyed lock on here, it comes with the Yakima's the SKS system is what they have. So that's their single key system, I believe is what they call it. Which means you can match the key that goes right here with the key that locks the rack to your car. So you can have one key to do all your locks. So in my case, I had two racks, some is four lock cylinders. All of them were exactly the same. So I could use that same key to unlock my bike, unlock the rack from the car. I could use whatever I wanted to, and it worked perfectly fine. You didn't have to carry multiple keys around for everything. You just carried one key, and it worked for the whole rack system. Along with that, you might be like, okay, well, the bike's, you know, you have your front tire secured, so what do you do for the back tire? Yakima has a very simple thing, pretty much what everybody uses, and that's going to be just a ratcheting strap right back here. So that ratcheting strap, you can loosen it up, and it just pulls through, and it all it does is it sets teeth on here, and those teeth feed into this buckle, just like so, and as you click it down, it ratchets, and it will secure your rear tire to the rack. That's how you secure the rear wheel. Pretty simple, works really good. You can still buy replacement pieces for this rack if you need to replace this strap here, which I've broken before. Very easy, I found one, I found one online, ordered it, came in, just clipped right in. Super easy to replace. That's kind of the nice thing I like about this style rack was it's very easy to service. Although there's a lot of moving parts on this rack, you can find the stuff you need to actually fix this rack and make it better. So you're like, okay, why are you showing us this rack now? You said it's been on your car for eight years, so why are you showing the rack now and it's not on the car? And that's because I replaced them. So it came down to the point when we moved from Hawaii to here in Reno, one of my racks didn't make it very well over this over the ocean. It ended up rusting out and completely dying. I can't guarantee it was just over the ocean. It's probably its whole time in Hawaii, but it didn't make it. Inside here for all the mechanism to make this, this piece go up and to keep it attached to the rack, that all rusted out inside of there. And that's from the salt air, from just being rained on, from never, you can't really see up on this top area when you're washing your car or looking at your car. Even on our Focus, which isn't very tall, honestly, you just can't see this area, so you don't really know what's going on and how bad it could be getting. In our case, it was pretty bad. So, I, so in my head, I thought I'm gonna repair that. I'll make a video, show you guys how to repair your Yakima rack. I pulled that rack off and there was no shot in repairing that thing. I started poking around with a screwdriver and it started just falling apart. So these racks are coming off my car. One of them is perfectly fine still, the other one, not so much. So I still have one of these. I'm not gonna use it on my car, obviously. I've got new racks for that, which I'll talk about in a future video so you guys can see the new style rack I have. But I like these. These ones work, these worked really well for the purposes I had. They didn't subtract much from my mileage. I generally got about 24 to 27 in the folk in our focus wagon on the freeway, and I still got about 24 to 27 with this rack on there. So didn't really detract from my mileage. They made it very relatively aerodynamic on the front. So it, it didn't it didn't do too much of a deal. In our circumstance in our car, there really wasn't much wind noise from this, even though it looks, even though from the front of this thing. It looks like there should be a ton of wind noise, but realistically there wasn't. Yeah, I was kind of surprised by that. I expected a ton of wind noise and I never gave that. So if you're looking for a rack for your roof that holds by the front wheel, the Yakima front loader is a great way to go. So I'm gonna have a link in my description down below so you guys can check out the Yakima front loader for yourselves. If you see one and you wanna pick one up, pick it up. It's a great rack, they last a long time and you'll, you will not be disappointed. So if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up, appreciate the support. Any comments or questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Love talking to you guys, love answering questions you guys have, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching today.